Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Our future will not be found in the development of Turkey. Our future will be found in the recognition of Western Armenian rights. Armenak Abraman. Every Armenian, if he did not think only of living for himself, most of our disasters will be less. Andranik Zodavar. It's impossible to find any trace of the Afghan language in the monuments of Artsakh. NAS. Replied to Azerbaijan, Nahijeval and Yerevan Khenates, which passed from Persia to Russia, become part of Eastern Armenia, Russian Foreign Ministry. A construction rush has begun in the Askinan region. The close 36 day Van Bakhchasaray road in Western Armenia is already open to traffic. The Rartian tomb of 8th century BC was discovered in Yerevan. Culture in Western Armenia The Ornament. On Western Armenia TV, the President of Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabraman, presented important details of the meeting with the Chief Commissioner for Diaspora, Affairs Zare Sinanyan, held in the French city of Paris, noting that the key issue of the meeting was repatriation. Speaking about the new Armenian-Turkish relations, he noted, ignoring Western Armenia, it is not only wrong to create relations with Turkey, but also a crime, given the past our relativeness, the genocide committing on our land, and the fact that Western Armenia is a recognized state. Speaking about Russian-Ukrainian relation, he noted that a war would create difficulties throughout the region. On Western Armenia TV, you can watch a report about Andra Nikozanyan concerning his life and military activities. In the video, the commander's pass, which was both victorious and disappointed, is described in detail. Every year on this day, commemorative events are organized in honor of Haiduk Apet, a visitor of Yerabulur Military Cemetery, where his body is buried. Christian monuments on the territory of Artsakh and inscriptions on them have been studied by specialists for more than a century, and their nationality has never been problematic. It's impossible to find any trace in the Afghan language in the monuments of Artsakh. This statement was made by the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia, referring to the statement of Minister of Culture of Azerbaijan. The Academy notes that there are no specialists in Azerbaijan engaged in the study of Christian culture and monuments, as evidenced by the publications. National Academy of Sciences ensure that it it is impossible to find any protocol invented by artificial dialect in the monuments of Artsakh. Elements of the Artsakh dialect are noticeable in the Lusanian protocols of Artsakh, while it's impossible to find any trace in the supposed Afghan language. The academy remains that in monuments in general and generally accepted phenomenon is a statement of remarkable events that took place at different stages of history. The monuments of Artsakh are not exception in this regard. The Russian Foreign Ministry issued a statement on its official website on the occasion of the 194th anniversary of the Turkmen Chai Treaty, referring to the provision of the document which clearly states that the Khantes of Nahijevan and Yerevan, which passed from Persia to Russia, are part of Eastern Armenia. In this regard, the following was quoted on the page of Russian Foreign Ministry. The Khantes of Nahijevan and Yerevan, Eastern Armenia, come under the rule of Russian Empire. The Iranian government has pledged not to prevent the settlement of Armenians to Armenian region, which contributed to the unification of Armenian people within the Russian Empire. It should be noted that a mention of this historical fact angered Baku and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan issued a statement. Construction works are in full swing in Askeran region of Artsakh. The traces left by the war are being eliminated. The correspondent of Artsakh Press talked about the head of regional administration, Hamlet Apresyan, about the work carried out in the region and the problems that need to be solved. New quarters for displaced people are being built in Askeran region. Work on the construction of a new settlement of the administrative territory of Astrashen community is actively continuing. There will be 210 houses in the village. Construction works are being carried out at the same pace of the territory of Ivanyan community. 216 apartments are being built in Krasny, Apresyan said. The Van Bakhchasara Highway, built on the border of one province of Western Armenia, where 42 people died in avalanches in 2020, was reopened to vehicles after being closed for 36 days. During this period, drivers carried out transportation on an alternative road, which is located on the territory of Bagesh province. 
The tomb found in Yerevan dates back to 8th century BC, currently traces of waste from an industrial enterprise operating here, a mixture of oil and have been preserved on the walls of the building. As a result of excavation, animal and bird bones were found near the western wall. There was a large port with a stator of Baal's head and an east wall. Several large and small bowls, judge and lumps, were found in the northeastern corner of the tomb. The Armenian people have the oldest ornamental sculpture, which has its roots in a stone age. Since then, various petroglyphs have been discovered in Western Armenia. One of the most valuable monuments of Armenian sculpture are stone monuments called Dragon. The Temple of Tertat in Garni is a unique monument in pagan ornament. In the Middle Ages, ornamental sculpture received great development. Such masterpieces as Hachkars are created. All the new ornaments created by the method of engraving, trimming and casting occupy a large place in Armenian ornament. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.